Hello everyone. I Hamza Jamadar, along with my team from the mechanical department, welcome you to the introduction of our innovative project. Let us begin. From space, our planet appears to be more ocean than Earth. And current estimates predict that by 2040, up to 20 more countries could be experiencing water shortages. Are we running out of clean water? Well, yes, and, no. At a planetary scale, Earth can't run out of freshwater thanks to the water cycle, so this isn't really a question of how much water there is. Of Earth's 37 major underground reservoirs, 21 are on track to be irreversibly emptied. So while it's true that our planet isn't actually losing water, we are depleting the water sources we rely on at an unsustainable pace. The water we use to drink, cook, and clean accounts for only 3.6% of humanity's water consumption. Another 4.4% goes to the wide range of factories each day. Talking about manufacturing, nowadays we talk about the carbon footprint of a product, but we miss out on the water footprint. A smartphone's water footprint is 12,000 liters, followed by jeans 8,000 liters, and t-shirt 2,500 liters. But the remaining 92% of our water consumption is all spent on a single industry that is agriculture. Two simple steps can save us from a dangerous water crisis reducing and recycling, and this is where our project comes into play. Mainly there are two types of water, grey water and black water. Black water is water that is feces mixed in it and is actually dirty water that cannot be reused. But grey water is not that dirty and it can be reused easily. It is comparatively cleaner and can be used for a number of purposes. Our project focuses on grey water and its purification using 100% renewable solar energy and also is cost-effective and sustainable. We have designed and developed a greywater solar distiller which is a pyramid solar still integrated with thermoelectric condenser and vacuum evaporation. A thermoelectric module is used which condenses rising water vapor at a low temperature and maintains a higher temperature difference between glass and water, increasing the condensation rate. Further, we used vacuum evaporation which enhances the water productivity by more than 100%. We achieved higher internal temperature as the steel is well insulated with glass wool and a composite outer shell of wood and FRP. Hence, we decided to create a partial vacuum. It consumes less power compared to medium and high vacuum. We have taken our project readings in stages to do comparative analysis. Our experiments dictate that 5 liters of grey water can yield an output of 1.5 liters, even in cloudy weather. According to the projected assumption, we can get output up to 25 liters per day, from 1 meter square of area. Now the important question is whether distilled water is safe or not. For the experiment, we use grey water coming from the washing machine which had a TDS of 450 ppm, and after distillation and disinfectant, it is found to be 37 ppm, which can be used for multiple non-potable applications. With so many advantages and a contribution towards the global problem of water scarcity, our product can be made available at a minimum cost of 8,000 rupees.